Welcome back boys and girls and today is November 14th Saturday first day of the rifle season but why am I dressed like this I told you never miss the first day of any season if weather permits but today is a little different my daughter Rachel called yesterday and right now she's in second year residency training as a plastic surgeon and she says she's got a day off and she wants to go hiking in Shenandoah National Forest and my wife looked at me so I said of course we're going to hiking Forget the first day of the rifle season, right? So I'm dressed for hiking, and my first day of the rifle season has to start on the Monday. My hunting buddy still just texted me and told me his daughter Tori just shot a nice bug. I'm so happy for them, and I'm so happy for me. But I got my priorities straight, right? All right, this is what I gave up my first day of rifle season for. All right, we're at the destination. Now we have to go back up. It was really good to see Rachel. And we did a lot of hiking. I'm still aching a lot. But the hunting season doesn't start because I'm aching, right? And tomorrow will be my first day of the rifle season. And as I promised, I'm going to be taking my Remington 7400 model, semi-automatic. And I have the 10 round magazine on it. And this really helps me a lot. When I'm carrying the rifle, it's a lot easier for me to hold my rifle like this. And actually, when I'm shooting from my tree stand, having the little extra height, that really helps me to line up my eye with the scope. And I have C2 scope ring, so I have iron sight and the scope on top. And this is chambered in 308, and I'm gonna be shooting Hornaday Whitetail 150 grain. It is now 6.45 and I'm ready to hunt. It's getting cold and windy. Yesterday I only saw one turkey and a lot of wind. So this time I'm gonna be taking my DPMS, chambered in 308, and I'll be shooting same ammunition from Honare Whitetail. And again, I have 20 round magazine in it. I'm not carrying 20 rounds, I'm only putting six rounds, but I like to have the extra hold when I'm carrying it. And when I'm shooting, I like to have the extra height. So I have the rifle right up to my eyes and I can really line up really well. So that's the main reason. And tomorrow's November 18th and we have a cold front coming in. It's gonna be in 29.30, so I gotta bundle up, but hopefully the deals will be moving. During the rifle season, we could see so much further and we could shoot so much further. The only problem is we went through the archery season, we went through the muzzleloader season, and now we are in rifle season. So a lot of careless deals has been taken and the rest of them, they became very smart and they actually become nocturnal. So it's really hard to see them during the daytime. But what we see with a modern rifle, we could take it home with us. It is now 6.37 and I'm returned. Just around 7 a.m., I heard this really loud crunch, crunch, crunch right behind me. It was coming right toward my tree, and I was facing the other way, and I didn't dare turn and look behind me because if I make any movement, I knew I was going to get busted, and that buck going to run. So in my head, I'm thinking like there's a giant buck there that's just coming at me. So I couldn't even turn, so I just had my camera on, and I was so dying to turn around to see what kind of deal that was coming behind me or what kind of giant buck it was. And I was fighting the urge not to look behind me. So I just kept looking in front of me, just waited for that buck to pass me. So as soon as I heard that crunch, 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 he passed me and stopped. I looked over. And it wasn't a giant bug. It was a nice doe. So I figured, you know what? I'm taking the doe home with me. So I got my scope up, looked at it. It 
is a spike. And I see like two inch spike on each side. I'm thinking like, I don't use a buck tag on a small spike. And even for a meat buck, that's a little too small. So I had to let him walk. And since this was still early in the morning, I figured, you know, they're moving, so I'm just gonna wait. But the wind got stronger, and that was it. No more deer. So I've been hunting Tuesday and Wednesday, and on both days it was really windy. And deers do not like to move around when it's really windy because they feel insecure. But I had to go hunting and see what happened. Until last season, I was only showing the successful hunt. And some of my viewers were saying like, David, you're making it look too easy. So I decided to show some of the hunt that wasn't so successful, but interesting, and maybe we might have something to learn. By now you might say, come on David, show me some dead deer. Well, I can only show you what real hunt looks like for the regular guys like me. Yesterday and today, with all that wind, it was freezing out there. There was a point when I couldn't feel my fingers, but I still had a lot of fun. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have, enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly, stay warm. See ya.